Welcome to Real View's channel. Today, we're diving into the top five mysterious facts from the movie Exuma, which has captivated audiences in cinemas around the world. Before we proceed, a spoiler alert is in order. If you haven't seen Exuma yet, you might want to pause here. Ready? Let's unravel these mysteries together. Number one, the plight of Grandpa Park's ghost. Grandpa Park's ghost is released hungry and cold due to his family's neglect of traditional rites after his burial in a cursed site in Korea. Seeking entry into his family's home in the USA, he must be invited in, following folklore traditions. Once inside, his ghost eagerly eats, showing how much he's missed food. As the story unfolds, we see him recover physically, especially when meeting his great-grandchild, highlighting a significant transformation from his ghostly form. His desire for revenge grows from his painful burial and his family's failure to honor him properly, showing the consequences of breaking ancestral traditions. This story underlines the importance of respecting and remembering family heritage and the impact of neglect on spiritual well-being. Number two, the enigma of the Japanese anima. In the context of the movie Exuma, the Japanese anima emerges as a formidable demon meticulously crafted through dark rituals to guard a significant site. This entity, born from the amalgamation of a blazing metal sword and the essence of a historically notorious Japanese general, embodies the dual roles of protector and suppressor, a sentient embodiment of a metal rod designed to dampen the land's spiritual vitality. This clever integration of historical and mystical elements paints the anima as a dark symbol of control over spiritual landscapes, showcasing the lengths to which powers will go to maintain dominance. The belief, rooted in Japanese strategy, that implanting such a rod in the metaphorical spine of the tiger, a poetic representation of Korea's geographical form, would sap the nation's spiritual strength is ingeniously depicted. The climax reveals a fascinating twist. The anima itself is the metaphysical rod, a revelation that propels the narrative toward a confrontation of elemental forces led by feng shui expert Kim sang Deok, who turns to the harmonizing principles of water and wood to dismantle this threat. Number three, unveiling the anima, a dance of desire and dominion. The anima demon's desire to eat human livers is linked to old stories where eating a person's liver means taking their strength and life force. This idea is common in many cultures' stories. A particularly chilling encounter sees the anima engaging with Bong Gil, where its action of wiping his eyebrow, interpreted as counting eyebrow hairs, suggests a ritualistic preparation for possession. This nuanced detail enriches the film's lore, suggesting a calculated, intimate process by which the demon asserts its dominion, a motif echoed in tales where the physical bridges to the spiritual. Number four the enigmatic Nureana. In Exuma, a grave digger finds a unique snake with a woman's head while digging up a grave, identifying it as the mythical Nureana from Japanese folklore, characterized by its snake body and woman's face. The death of the Nureana causes supernatural events like a woman's scream and sudden rain, linking her to water elements and suggesting she's protecting the grave. This moment, especially during the removal of Grandpa Park's coffin, suggests themes of protection, curses, and spirits. The story hints at a connection between the Nureana and the Anima, another guardian figure, implying they might work together to protect the grave's secrets. This mix of mythology and narrative in Exuma encourages viewers to think about the roles these beings play in the story's deeper meanings and the use of folklore to enrich the film's plot. Number five, Gisune's identity and role. Kisune is portrayed as a figure resembling the kitsune from Japanese folklore, known for its significant spiritual power and ability to shift forms. This character with a white face and a powerful, almost supernatural spirit plays into the deep folklore about beings that interact with humans, often with complex motives. Kisune's role is multifaceted, involving spiritual manipulation and historical depth. He replaces a metal rod, a spiritual suppressant, with a demon created from a Japanese general's body. This act not only serves as a protection mechanism, but also as a means to continue dampening the spiritual energy of the land, indicating a strategic approach to controlling spiritual sites. Furthermore, Gisuni's instruction to the Parks family to bury their grandfather at a specific site 
without fully understanding the consequences, introduces themes of duty, protection, and the influence of unseen forces. Despite his seemingly indifferent attitude towards the park's ancestor, Gisuni's actions are calculated to safeguard the area, reflecting a character driven by broader goals than personal grudges. Gisune in Exuma symbolizes the interplay between power, spiritual conflict, and the impact of historical and mythological elements on personal destinies, blurring the lines between human concerns and the realm of the supernatural. We hope you enjoyed our deep dive into Exuma's most captivating mysteries. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, thank you for watching RealViews channel.